Coach says, it's easier to ask for forgiveness and earn permission. Playing Trey now would be a constant apology campaign for fixing his footwork and mechanics down the line. That don't get better playing. Sit him. What do you think, coach to coach? What do you think? I think you, I think experience trumps everything. I mean, it's it's like you can talk about doing something, right? You got to you, you can do something right in practice when there's no no one's going to touch you. Yeah, you know, there's a difference between like if you're if you're bringing the like the whole military analogy, like a trained a trained soldier or a trained rather than a veteran who's been experienced in in live action, right? So. Right. You got to get out there, like, and you need you. Like you've only yeah, you've only been in basic training. Sorry, it's not the same. It's simulated. Yeah, you need simulated. you need live yeah. rep. You need, it's yeah. got to. It's live different. bullets. Yeah, right. You, you need it because it's different. It's different. Like I was watching the the cast last night with um the the Mannings, right? And uh, uh, the Giants quarterback he throws an interception on the screen, and Eli and. Peyton and Carmelo in practice, that's wide open because they set the defense up for you. It's the perfect defense. There's not a defensive lineman there covering that cover in the back. That happens all the time in practice. It's it's they set things up for it's almost perfect for you. And it's not perfect in the game. Like it happens. Like and you gotta make plays. Um it's a different sport. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Right. He needs experience. And and the whole the kicker is Kyle Shanahan said he needs experience. Someone said, like, someone asked him last week. Kyle doesn't seem to think many moves ahead verbally. Uh, someone asked him last week, like, does 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 Trey Lance know the whole offense? And he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. he's not. Are you kidding? He's on the whole offense since 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 the since August. Like, it's all about him getting game reps now. Like, you can know the offense, but how do you react to a blitz? How do you react to something you didn't expect? Can, do you know when to go straight from one to four in your progression? even though we didn't coach it that way. And he went on and on and on about how important game reps are and how that's exact, essentially what's going to uh, fuel Lance's development at the end. It's like, okay, right. So play him. And it's like, no, he's not experienced enough yet. We can't play him. And, and I would counter, and I, would counter to, I would counter to say to get rid of your bad, your bad habits, you need live reps because what's going to happen is if you don't have live reps, you're going to revert to bad habits. Like, Point. Things are get all corrected when it's all perfect, but then when the ish hits the fan, you're going to revert to your bad habits. You need those live reps during that, and you coach the player up, and you coach his bad habits during the live reps, and you coach it out of them. Well put. Voice ad agency says Lance's footwork is better than Jimmy G in the pocket. I think Jimmy G has better mechanics to from waist up. Do you guys agree or disagree? Um, you can go first. Uh, I mean, haven't seen a lot of Lance. Lance is he is mechanically mechanically flawed. Um, I think there's an issue with his release. That's why he throws those wobblers. Um, I like to see that corrected. Um, I think he, I think he can get a little hitchy, uh, but like it's all it's all correctable. I mean, no no guy is gonna be. I, I think there's very few guys that are perfect, right? Like Brady is like a perfect mechanic, perfect mechanics guy, um, but. He does. Lance doesn't have to be, and um, from what we've seen up until this point, Lance seems to be a good decision maker, and that's difficult to teach. So you don't necessarily have to teach that aspect of things for him, but you've got the. So you concentrate on what you do need to teach for him, and you correct that stuff, um, and you go from there. But and he brings a whole other skill set to the table that that Jimmy G doesn't bring or and can't bring. Let's talk about footwork for a second though. Um, I actually think that Lance is a better fit for the 49ers offense than Garoppolo. Garoppolo has a quick twitch um, release. He's got a very quick release upper body as you, as you, as voice ad agency pointed, but his feet are short to medium. Yeah. His feet though are slow, very heavy. It looks like he has big, heavy, slow feet. I'm just saying the way he moves and that's why, they don't really make him pass from under center anymore. It takes him a long time to get away from center. He's better in the gun. Trey Lance has extremely quick feet. He gets away from center instantly. And he actually, he played under center in college. He can do straight dropbacks from under center, all the play action stuff. He's a better fit for the classic Shanahan offense than Jimmy. They've had to change their entire passing game for Jimmy because he can't move his feet. 
He can only move his arm. Uh, just want to put that out there. Really quick feed for two minutes. Yeah, that's not that's exciting. Cool. Bring back. I know it's. Uh, I just know it's going to happen. I'm with you. I think Jimmy's coming back. They've said it, and pretty much every announcer has said it the last few weeks, which makes me feel like they're hearing it. Brad, do you think that they're doing that to try to pump his trade value? No, no. I don't think there. I don't think there's anything they can say. Everyone's seen Jimmy Garoppolo. People aren't like waiting to hear what the Niners say about him. They know. They know he doesn't throw down field. They know he's a, a largely a product of a running game in Kyle Shanahan. They know he's decent but overpaid. I mean, he's worth what he's worth. There's nothing the Niners can do. It's just how long do they want to hold off on Trey Lance? And it seems like the answer is a very, 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 very long time. DRB says, why does it have to be one or the other? Imagine defense dealing with Jimmy and shotgun with Lance lined up in the running back slot. Uh, and I like the punchline on that one. That was good. That was good. That was good. The coach is back. Dropping another 10 bucks. Thank you, coach. Always generous in your criticisms. See how fields will turn out. The bastardization of his development is going to bite Chicago in the ass. The league has a funny way of exposing weaknesses. They're treating Trey, uh, Trey Lance like an investment, not a toy. Okay. Well, we'll see. I, we can't win this argument, but we'll see how. I guess it'll be a very interesting test case. Fields and Lance. Fields, yeah. Fields, yeah. Lance. Yeah, there's a uh, Zach Wilson if he gets healthy. We'll uh, see. Yeah, yeah. Would Trevor Lawrence be better off not playing in Jacksonville right now? I thought Trevor Lawrence was fine the other day. They didn't lose the game because of Trevor Lawrence. I thought he was fine. W would he be better off if he were watching CJ Beathard play? I, I just, I look. I, I think what people like coach are trying to say is that there's something to be gained in practice and not playing. Sure. But I think there's more to be gained from playing. And what I think coaches say is you can get broken from playing. Justin Fields doesn't look broken to me. Hold on. I agree with that. But I think think depends on the circumstances, right? The Niners, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to put a guy out there with a porous offensive line. Right. I, I can break him. Because right. it, it, it gonna, it's going to erase your internal clock and all that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Got a decent, they've got at least a decent offensive line. They have, they have a Hall of Fame left tackle. Their offensive line on PFF is one of the best offensive lines out there. And they, they just run the ball 40 times a game. Like, all he has to do is hand right. off. They can make it so it's pretty simple for him. Yeah. He's not threatened, and he's not threatened. Like You're asking for, like, 16 completions, 180 yards, and five scrambles. It's It's not that much. Right. How is he not ready for that? I mean, Jimmy's a basically a novice. Jimmy has forty-two starts in his career. Right. They have a Hall of Fame left tackle. They have they have George Kittle. They have Debo. They have Ayuk. They have things to make him comfortable. So, I this is like the perfect time. It's a perfect instance to put. They have more to give him than the Patriots have to give Mac. Correct. Mac's got Kendrick Bourne and Nelson Aguilar and Ramondre Stevenson. I mean, he's you know. It's, it's it's nice what they've put around him, but it's it's more solid than spectacular. They have a good offensive line. Yes, they do. Protect them, and they're yep. willing to run the ball. And they have a good defense. So if they need to punt, it's not on Mac Jones. Okay, now the the Niners don't necessarily have that. Okay, right. um, but their defense it's not trash. Like sixth in yards allowed. It's not bad. See, they just gave up two hundred yards last week. It's not a bad right. defense. Right. No. Smack Jones says at the end of the day, Trey throws deep. Offense needs that to hit that next level. No more top three defense. So we need to have big plays. Jimmy Trash. What's up, Smack Jones? I like your name. <laughs> Jimmy Trash. He said at the end. Smack Jones. <laughs> trying to tell, trying to Smack Jones. I like that. That's actually hella funny. <laughs> Julio says Trey fits the scheme, but Jimmy has the locker room, so Trey won't start. In some, Cone was right all along. Hey! The Niners are so good at making average players so rich. Learn how to manage your salary cap. They really do make some people like outrageously rich. They have made some people's dreams come true. D Ford, Weston Richburg, yeah. Tevin Coleman, Jarek McKinnon. Oh my God. Jarek McKinnon. The McKinnons are going to have wealth for generations because of Jed York. Is, is Mike McGlinchey the next one? Oh, Eric Armstead. They've already given Eric Armstead about $50 million in his, in his life to set the edge. Love that. Love that for him.